Hello everyone and welcome to the fantasy match preview. This is for the first T20I that's going to be happening between India and New Zealand. We have Nikhil Bhai with us today to give you his insights on what he feels will happen at this Ranchi pitch as well as what is your best base team based on all the changes that are happening in comparison to the ODI team. Nikhil Bhai, how are you doing and how do you see the game panning out? What is the best 11 and what do you feel about the game at Ranchi in general? Yes, thank you so much for having me. Yes, so quite far from where I usually record the videos, but goes can't control everything. But uh, I think game should be good. Uh, India New Zealand two sides had a lot of history in in this format uh, as well. Or ghar pe bhi apne dekha Nagpur ka match sabko yaad hota hai 2016 wala. So I'm hoping India puts in a string of good good uh, games. Ranchi mein spin dekhte hain ham log. To uske baad mein definitely baat karenge, but under Hardik, I don't see too many changes. Baki to <laughs> Indian cricket works in ways that we can only guess. <laughs> yes, the regulars to be true. back with the big guys not playing actually. <laughs> yes, absolutely. That should be the case. So, first up, let's look at the venue conditions for this game. So, venue conditions and Nikhil Bhai, uh, like you said, Ranchi, you're expecting some turns. So, do you see it going that way? And are you going to load up spin or do you feel like Dew will play a factor? So, it might be just more of first inning spinners that will be part of your team. Keen eye on. Uh, I think they put a chemical as well. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think that is something we'll have to keep a keen, keen eye on. They usually put a chemical out to uh, ensure that the dew is not too heavy. So we'll have to look mm. at the toss. Toss pe aapko clearly pata chal jayega. Uh, if the captains are expecting dew, because that's how their team load up will be. So I'll still say you can back the spinners who are continuously taking wickets, because their mm. usage will be the same as wicket. Chahi. So I still expect 160-165 kind of a score, because the boundaries are big. So I think that should remain the case, along with help for spinners. So, that will be my base. And after that, the toss will get more information. How much it will be true, I don't know, but we will get more guests. Yes, absolutely. And you can see the uh, ground dimensions here. So one side is pretty short. One side is 60 and 58 meters, while the other side is much longer at 72, 73 meters. So probably the spinners will be using that end while bowling. While the square boundaries are the ones that will play the real scare for them. And this is an idea of how the pitch looks like, but this is from an ODI game, so not sure if it will look exactly the same, but uh, this should give you a brief idea. And yes, hopefully spin does play its part, especially if the dew stays away. And now let's look at the base team for this game. So, base team for this game and we are starting with the keeping section where we have gone with Ishan Kishan. Now, you can try Finn Allen, but then he has not shown any kind of form. The only point of respite for him will be that the bowlers change. So, maybe he finds a change in mood as far as that is concerned. While in the batting, we have gone with Glenn, Devin Conway, Surya Kumar Yadav and Shubman Gill. Now, Gill and Kishan are the ones who are likely to open as per whatever information we have got till now. While Shaw is unlikely to start again, Rutraj Gaikwad is ruled out. Nikhil Bhai, what are your temptations here in terms of Tripathi, Hudda, Mitchell? Any thoughts on if you'd like to try any of them? Yes, I think Tripathi is somebody that I'll be very interested to try many combinations. Shaw is a 100% currently captain option because I'm sure he'll be eager to come in and come good. So, you have a lot of options. जो डैरल मिचेल हैं और अदर्स हैं देखो उनका यूसेज डिपेंड करता है कि कितने बोलर्स भी हैं और वो कहाँ पे बैट करने वाले सो आई थिंक विद दैट वी कैन टेक अ कॉल ऑन हाउ मेनी एक्जेक्टली वी वांट टू फील बैटर्स क्योंकि आई एम श्योर अगर स्पिन फेवर है तो वी हैव इनफ ऑलराउंडर्स एंड बोलर्स टू बैक फ्रॉम दैट एंगल एज वेल तो आई बैक द यूनिफॉर्म गाइस और सूर्य इसमें सबसे ऊपर होगा तो बाकी दोनों में लेट्स सी हाउ दैट वर्क आउट Yes, absolutely. And as far as Shaw is concerned, so Hardik in the pre-presser mentioned that he's unlikely to start. So like you can see, Nikhil Bhai is traveling. So he's missed out on that piece of information. But just keep that point in mind. And he'll give you another cracking GL captain when we go to the GL options. In the all-rounders, we have gone with Michael Bracewell, Mark Chapman and Hardik Pandya. All three should be key. You can try Mitchell Sandner as always. But 
again we saw in the last game he didn't really strike it was the few points that he got with the bat so we are trying to go with the specialist roles and if we feel like the players will come off in that specific role because this is a t20 so even if he gets to bat the amount of balls will be very minimal as compared to an odi and in the bowling we have gone with lockie kuldeep and ashdeep so not messing with the form there and ashdeep is should hopefully be in after quite a long time now so hopefully some good game time for him too बिल्कुल देखिए आपके पास विकल्प बहुत ज्यादा है एटलीस्ट इन दी ऑलराउंडर एंड बोलिंग सेक्शन अगेन यू हैव टू गो वेरी स्पेसिफिकली इन टर्म्स ऑफ किसका क्या रोल है तो कौन किसको कहाँ पे किस रोल में खिला रहा है डेथ में डालने वाला है क्योंकि सोडी साहब हैज ए हिस्ट्री अगेंस्ट इंडिया तो वो तो आप भूल ही नहीं सकते हो तो आई एम श्योर वीरेन विल मैं ग्रैंड लिग सेक्शन ऑल्सो बट दैट इज हाउ द ट्रेंड हैज बीन पर ये टीम ज्यादा जो नई टीम है वेरी इंटरेस्टेड टू सी हाउ दे टैकल स्पिन क्योंकि जो नेक्स्ट वर्ल्ड कप है वो ऐसी कंडीशंस में होगा जहां पे स्पिन को हेल्प हो सो दैट आई थिंक विल बी वेरी अ गुड फैक्टर टू सी आउट कि हाउ दिस टीम कोप्स अप एंड विद रिगार्ड्स टू कैप्टन वाइस कैप्टन आई थिंक मोस्ट कॉमन यही होंगे आई एम श्योर मेनी विल कम विद द लॉर्ड ऑफ न्यूजीलैंड दैट इज ब्रेसवेल बट अदरवाइज आई थिंक दिस टू आर पॉसिबली योर सेफेस्ट ऑप्शंस इन टर्म्स ऑफ कैप्टन वाइस कैप्टन यस एब्सोल्युटली दैट्स द केस एंड नाउ लेट्स हेड ओवर टू द ग्रैंड लीग ऑप्शंस फॉर दिस गेम Nikhil bhai go first Think a first pick definitely Mitchell Santner uh leading the side uh, in enough left uh, enough right handers for him to back or aisa nahi ki wo lefty ko acha nahi dalte to jo unki mujhe defensive skill ODI mein kabhi lagti thoda limit karti hai in T20 it can actually free him up and also i could be very very wrong but i also see him starting to do a better role with the bat to wo fluency dikhi hai ab wo kitna convert hota hai wo to wo hi jaane but which is i think very good next in uh, from india attempt or try to go with some like an arshdeep singh agar humne dekha hai naye ball se movement unko milti hai so he is able to set up the game very well for india to abhi ke liye zyada masti nahi kar raha hu and i'm going with guys who should definitely start and have an impact शौक है तो हमने पहले बात कर दी तो वो शायद सीरीज में आगे कभी हो जाएगा पर अभी के अगर हरदीप के अलावा इफ यू वांट टू टेक अ रिस्क टेक ऑन अ स्पिनिंग ऑलराउंडर दैट इंडिया प्लेस बिकॉज़ आई थिंक दे माइट बी यूज्ड इन अ वेरी डिफरेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग मैनर सो या दो पिक्स यू टू ट्राई यस फेयर इनफ सम क्रैकिंग पिक्स देयर माय पिक्स फॉर दिस गेम द पिक्स फ्रॉम न्यूजीलैंड इज ऑलरेडी इन अ बेस टीम एज अ डिफरेंशियल मार्क चैपमैन we are expecting him to play a good role in yeah. the game and he's shown sparks of brilliance against india before so maybe in this series one big knock to convert it while from india my pick is yuzvendra chahal especially if india is bowling first because i am not sure about i'm still not too sure about the due point if there's some conf- confirmation that the due will stay away then whether they bowl first or bowl second in either scenario and uh, i think nikhil bhai has lost network and just waiting for him to join back in but yes those are the key picks chahal irrespective of whether he bowls first or bowls second and mark chapman from new zealand so that sums up the grand league picks for this game we hope that uh, all of you have a great game too and we'll see you all for the next preview thank you so much and have a great one